Hello my friends, welcome back to the Hyperion Crew mod. We are going to a double feature today. A little bit- Oh! <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. A little bit of Outlaws, and then a little bit of Maw of the Void, which is going to be nice and exciting if you ask me- Oh, I have SCV Reactor! Nice. Alright. Be able to make some of these real quick, and then- I know exactly what we want to do. I am ready to go Predator on this mission. We have two Gas Geysers, which is crazy. Normally you only have one here. But all the early game stuff has bonus resources. I don't know. Oh, of course. The reason why is because if you unlock weird things, it needs to be playable. So it was changed up. So, for example, let's say your first combat unit was like the Raven. <laughs> I don't know if, that's the, if you can unlock just that as your first combat unit, but... You know, just in case, they make sure that you have the ability to actually produce those units and beat the mission. If you had one gas, it would be awful. Oh, let's get a factory. Empower build. You know what? I don't need these. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of him. And I think that we're almost... Predatoring. We're gonna need a couple of these bad boys in the beginning stages, but not too many. Then we can focus on getting some upgrades for them. Probably don't need the attack upgrades on the Predator, because the Predator does damage in two ways. First, it has a attack that hits any target, you know, it's just a claw. And then when it attacks, it does that AoE damage pulse. And the claw hits for about 15, I think. And the damage pulse hits for 20. And the damage pulse does not scale with attack upgrades. Which means that, obviously, it's, you know, only getting a fraction of benefit. And we might as well just get the armor upgrades instead and more predators. I'm hoping that we manage to... Oh, well, here's the enemy. <laughs> predators on the way. Oh, we... What if we just send this over here while you start walking a little bit? That would be nice. Yeah, just chase this. I think the two Predators can kill this. Given that Predators cost as much as four Marines, they should be able to without losing anything, I hope. They're going all the way over. And we can get the vehicle plating upgrades. Get them. Oh, yeah, when they get on their targets, when it's small numbers... The Predator is actually awesome. It is a unit that has no value in those large-scale attacks, but in times like this, it is so good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Unfortunately, just two gas geysers, no expansion or anything to get. We can probably run around and grab some of the gas on the map, though. That would be a good use of time. And if the damage output is so high. That they just can't stop it. So what is... Is 15 damage, 1, and then 20 from the field. Which means that the Predator does do 35 DPS, including AoE. And you compare that to a stimmed Marine, which does about 9. Means that uh, 4 Marines actually do more DPS than, <laughs> than a Predator does. But AoE, AoE, okay? We're, we're trying... We're pretending here. Oh, look, you got a friend. Yeah, you gonna be buddies? Oh, you don't wanna be buddies? Okay. Fine. Nobody unfriends my uh, predator. Not even the Lyote. I don't know what to do with my money, though. There's no way to, like, convert into Vespian Gas, and obviously I wanna do this with the predator. Oh, yeah, right in this line. <laughs> If only it was available earlier, it would truly be a great unit. No, it wouldn't. If only it was available earlier, it would truly sometimes be a viable unit in specific circumstances. I built too many depots already. Upgrade. We're going to be able to move over here, clear out these caves. Oh, let's go. Yeah, go up there. And then we want to come over here, take down the cave people. And this is going to allow us to grab all this money. 
We don't care about you. Bo -bo -bo. Here we go. Plus two vehicle armor. Attack, 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 attack. And the damaged ones are going to head back home. Good luck. Oh, no! Take him down. I can't believe it. If only our regenerative biosteel regenerated the biosteel better. And I think that in order to actually bust the final base, we're going to have to get plus two armor finished. But I don't think we'll need anything past that. The only thing that scares me there, like truly, truly scares me, is the final siege tank. Though the Bunker of Death is probably going to be a bit of a tricky one as well. But we are armored, which means the majority of this stuff is not going to do a whole lot of damage. That's a lot of guys. Go ahead. I want to have scouting of what's going on, so I'm going to make a couple more bills. What's going on? And you know what? Let's Just in case I can afford this, I might be getting more gas than I'm getting Predator now that I'm not getting these upgrades. Let's see, it's 40 seconds, which means... Yeah, I think we're just barely getting more gas, so we can afford one non-tech labbed predator production. Another good thing about the predator having no HP is that the regenerative biosteel does pretty quickly increase its hit points. <laughs> that is a benefit if you are lying to yourself, which I am. I guess I'm not just lying to myself, I'm also lying to you. And I'm not sorry. I feel really bad for this guy. I'm like trying to think about what to do. How do I rescue him in a way that doesn't take gap? You need a tech lab to build predators. No. Oh, it was almost the perfect unit. <laughs> we'll pick this guy up. So there's a couple Hellions over here. They have one one. They're the ones that are going to come out. We'll take them down. So we want to go load and then unload and they can Prepare this stuff. And it's probably time to go. This is 17 Predators. If this doesn't win, that's pretty pathetic. And pull back a little bit. We can drop a couple mules to repair. That sounds like a thing that's good. I guess we want some more repair guys. Fuels repair on. And let's -a go. I'm a little bit afraid because we keep having to commit. Alright, I'm committing. Get on this tank. Burn through everything else. Okay, tank is down. The infantry were absolutely annihilated, and the Predators are going to be victorious. We got the Ripwave missiles for the Viking when we got the Rebel base. And now we're going to get one more thing. I don't know what it is. But honestly, Predators, you did a job. <laughs> it wasn't a good job. It wasn't a bad job. It was, it was adequate. Like, you definitely did your 9 to 5 today. And for that, I am proud of you. They are a very fun unit because of their insane damage output. It's just ridiculous. Nice. Hive Mind Emulator. Cool. And then we are going to head to Maw of the Void because this is a two-part series today. So we're going to launch that up. I apologize. There's going to be a black screen for a little bit of time. And then we will... Uh oh. Archipelago. Where did you archipelago? I think I might need to re log in. I apologize. This is taking a turn for the worst. Username Alpacas are cool. And then Starcraft Launcher. Maw of the Void. Here we go. Perfecto Mundo. It should pop up. It's on my screen already. There we go. The hook onto OBS has worked properly. 
And, well, it's Battle Cruise. Well, at least Battle Cruise at the beginning here. So the fastest way, if you were wondering, to do this is to uh, fire the Amatos at these and then go over here and shoot. Or maybe that's not actually the fastest way, but it's the safest way. You take the least amount of damage to your forces. So my idea for this one is Juggernaut Blading, there we go! All right, my idea for this one is to do it from now on Battle Cruiserless, which sounds like a lot of fun to me. So we're gonna get the tech reactor. We probably need a tech reactor on the starport as well for some Hercules. And then I guess we can take these guys down and start the big harvest. All right, we'll scout around and see what we can pick up. So for the first objective, I almost certainly need to get Thors. Thors inside of a Herc. I can't imagine there's another way to do that that isn't just horrible. I kind of want to get some sort of fence here. I don't want to die early on, and I don't think the Thors are going to come out quick enough. I'm going to get some perditions here. We're probably going to end up floating minerals anyway, so I think it's a decent idea. Okay, we got this battle cruiser. Now what I'm going to do is send this guy over here and just grab the rest of them. Uh, grab the rest of the death, I guess is what I was going to say. Get him gone. So, perdition, perdition. The one, one thing I'm very concerned about is the speed of the enemy attacks here could be pretty bad. If they take us down before the perditions are ready, life is going to kind of suck. Let's get that vehicle weapons upgrade, and then... Not Hercules time just yet. There's a lot of cash down here that we can grab once we have the Thors. <laughs> it's just, uh... I don't want to die. There's actually a lot of money on this map. It's just weirdly placed not inside of bases. So what I'm thinking here is that we have the strike cannons upgrade. The strike cannon does about 500 damage, right? So if we get a Hercules right over here, I don't know how much HP this objective has. Let's scan. It has 1600, which means that three strike cannons and, you know, a regular volley from Thors will be enough. I like that. That can really help with those generators. Okay, let's be very sneaky. So we can afford more Thors. And then get the next pair that I cannot afford because we have one gas geyser here. It's got $900. And that's part of it. We really have to watch out for that money count. Base is under attack. Hey, Perdition's doing well. I love it. Depleted. I absolutely adore it. I am here. Click me. Get me back into the and we should be able to just clean all of these units up without them being able to put much damage at all. Let's get a Hercules soon. I don't know how many Thors you can fit in a Hercules, but that sounds like you're beginning to a joke. Oh, that ability is so good! <laughs> That's awesome. And just keep the Thor production going for now. It's not going to be pure Thor. I think that once we have the Ritfield generators down, the Thor is not going to be our best tool for actually finishing off the mission. But definitely in these beginning stages, it is going to be a very powerful asset. Let's repair. And repair. It does have the Immortality Protocol ability, which is a fantastic ability. However... Oh, hello. However, it has the problem of casting only gas, and gas is going to be our limited resource. So we'll see how that goes. We need more supply. Alright, let's try to take this down. It is 100 energy per bombardment. Can you really only foot three Thors and Hercules? That feels wrong. I really feel like you should be able to fit more. 
I don't need more SCVs. Whoa! Hello! You get out of there! No! <laughs> okay, there's some stuff going on. How you doing, enemy? Let's fire the siege cannon here. And then start targeting down this carrier. Yeah, we can repair this bad lad up. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I need another Hercules, I think. If I want to cleanly move up here, one more Hercules would be fantastic. We have another orbital, so what I can do is I can scan over here and grab some of the money. We're just going to use the mules as money grabbers. Oh, that's not gas! I mean, I'm committed at this point. It's still a good strategy. It's just a resource that we don't get to use right now. It's okay. Oh, we gotta get this down quickly. We're actually falling behind. Uh, maybe some Spartan companies to get inside. That could be good. Yeah? There's not really anything else we can afford. I don't really want to put hammer securities in. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll get armor upgrade. Take that down. And get into the transport. There we go. We can drop a mule over there as we move forward. And then we just fire the cannon. Perfect. And then we retreat. Didn't lose anything. Let's uh, load, load. Just fill these up with SCVs, and then we can send the Hercules over to get the rest of them. Land, land. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the way that went. You too, Dark Templar, you too. We got a lot of money, so we can continue getting armor upgrades, and I think I want to bring Thor production over to this area. So we'll just lift off and land, and I'll probably do the same thing with the barracks. I'm not super dedicated to this area anymore. Stop all them from dropping. And then if they're doing some damage, we just pick them up. And get on over here. Did I lose a Hercules? No. Where's my other one? Oh, he's picking up SCVs, of course. Forgot about that. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. And now we're going to be big gassy boys. Mmm. That is what we needed. I think I'm going to send the Thors themselves over to this next one and try to take it down. And we probably need a couple guys on minerals over here. I don't want to grab these DTs yet. I don't feel safe. Uh-oh. That's not good. Just fire here. Do what you can. Pick up everybody that's available. Get in. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that's big Archon energy. Oh okay. no. Oh no. Roger. Well, we dealt with that. That's okay. The objective becomes active and. Uh, stun? Stun? <laughs> no way. Okay, you want to be the one that fires? And repair. Factory, factory, factory. Uh, that's too many factories. Here's just a couple of those. And we can go grab this money. Thank you, Thors. You're doing real good. We drop, and let's get that plus three attack upgrade. Oh, 
Now, if we can control this area, I'll feel a lot safer about things. Yeah, we gotta stop them from doing that. We have a bunch of SCVs that are... I guess they're repairing now. They should not have been over there that entire time, but, you know. If it works, it works. And let's get some perditions on this side. In the rear with the gear. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No. Oh, goodness. Uh-oh. We got the Goliaths to help out. All fire on this. And we don't have the armor upgrades that we need. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Immortality protocol. Immortality protocol. We got the turrets firing on them. Take down this guy. And then let's free these guys from prison. Medic. Did we really go this long without the medic? <laughs> I somehow just like kind of blanked on that. Oh, that's funny. That is a really, really long time to be medicless. What else are we missing? Okay, we can mule mule. Oh yeah, la oh we could just walk Stephen over here to grab this money. Thanks, bud. And that, and let's uh, fuel up this area a little bit. Just finish off the money on my side. How do we grab this one? Could a Thor hit it from way over there? Might be able to. It's worth a shot. And let's get that armor upgrade next. Nope. That's not a good target. Can a Thor hit it from over here? <laughs> That's a bit of a safer space. Oh, it must be a walkable location. Well, if we have enough APM, I might be able to get this guy to... Oh, he just... He can't hit that. Okay. No. So how do we grab that without battle cruisers? Some other air unit. Oh. <laughs> really? Is that my... Ch okay, the Banshee's cheaper, but the Wraith is funnier. <laughs> uh, so up here is going to be a not-so-bad area, actually. Particularly, could we take this down? There's carriers and void rays over here that's going to make that sort of a trek very difficult. So I'm leaning towards the idea that no, we will not be able to. Base is under attack. Well, this might be the time to try moving out. Alright, bud. It'll be a couple months before that works, but I appreciate the fact that you're going to try. Oh, no. Fire the rockets. Rebuild. Keep going. Get to that combat point. Siege cannon, siege cannon. They're offline. We can just stop them from... Oh. Mortality protocol, immortality. Oh, the Void Rays are so busted. Interesting. The Void Rays seem to not leave the Immortality Protocol thing when they kill them. Is that what was happening there? It kind of looked like it. Oh, if someone with the instant replay could check out what was going on there. Sometimes we were just not getting the corpses. And that is something I didn't know happened and I'm very sad about. Oh no, it's the void zones don't leave the corpses. Okay. Got it. So we need to die to our own stuff. Ooh. Or not our own stuff, but just like combat. 
You need to die to combat. I only have one Hercules. I'm not sure what happened to my other one. It's probably a very sad story. Uh, we can almost get plus three armor. And then we go scan. Mule. And we cannot afford another mule. 42. Hey, it's happening. It's working. <laughs> oh, efficiency. Bring over some repair, guys. And get the Hercules to pick him up. Progressive infantry weapons. Oh. Okay. We can still. We can still do that. It's fine. Just continue patching everything up. And do we... Do we march here? Oh, goodness. Yeah, we gotta wait at least for them to attack with these prisms first. Then move forward. This is all unpowered. That's good. Hmm. There's a balance here between figuring out what to do with my repair money and figuring out what to build as combat units. The DTs are really good defense here. They're like a second line. And the Wraith is... We need to take this one down before we can open it up with a wraith, and then this one is the other big one. At least I'm gonna make the assumption that Biosteel doesn't like out here. No. Of course it doesn't. This does like 5 DPS, and Biosteel is not like percentage or anything. Oh, you know what? There we go. Money. How did this guy? Must have been a pretty powerful attack. Probably some immortals came in and took him down. More like immorals. Am I right? You believe they do that? Carriers sure are strong. Okay, we gotta repair again, and then... I guess we'll move this guy to the back. Grab the Hercules. Maybe we can use this as, like, emergency evacuation. I'll try going. The lack of anti-air is really the bad part. We're opening this up just so that we can have a bigger wall of fire coming forward. Not, like, supernova style, but just damage. Bring this guy over to help. Carrier first. This guy. Oh gosh, these void rays are insane. I think we're gonna make it. Get four guys firing the siege guns. And it worked. We need to move back and repair, but. Oh no! There's one shot away. I thought that four of them. At 500 damage apiece would be enough. That was a mistake. He's over, and we have a couple final minerals over here. We can drop, like, three mules, and that'll finish it off. And then we're almost out of gas as well. Now, how many Stargates are left? There's not a whole ton of them. There's this Robo that needs to go down. And then we need to get over here with a Hercules. I don't know about the air units here. What would you ask? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think Hercules play is the correct thing to do now. Let's build a couple of these. <laughs> so slow. Ooh, some good money. I really want to scan everywhere that I move, but I can't really afford it. And the gas is, in theory, good if we can use Immortality Protocol, but often we cannot. So it's a lot less useful than it seems. We gotta get all these open. The Wraith is truly shooting his gun. 
I think we're going to dive these three guys over here. Please, no carriers. Yes, no carriers. Okay. We drop and go cannon, cannon, cannon. Fire the shot and get out of there. And then land and repair up. Worked out great. And then we'll have to use the wraith to open this one up as well. The marauder. We didn't have the marauder. <laughs> We didn't have the medic or marauder this entire time. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, take some of these drop guys down. They don't have a whole lot of drop potential left, but I don't have a whole lot of potential at all. At least that's what I was told as a kid. Okay, drop that there and there. A little bit more money in the bank. Be careful about these attacks. What's going on? Got that money. Got something for me. So I want to take down this and that. I think we want to use these three here, and then just use this to pull back for a sec. Target the carriers down. Very rude that they decide to attack right then. One, two, three. So we're going to do the same thing, but on the top hand side and try to take out this target. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Okay. Nope. <laughs> All right, we don't care about that one yet. Come head over here. Maybe I just want to start pushing. Down the southern side. You're the one with the full force. Get these over here. Oh, maybe science vessels would be good now. I have all this gas, and a little bit of healing could be not I don't have the science vessel. <laughs> I keep having in my head, like, I have everything. No, I have everything that I don't want. Also, rest in peace, SCDs. Siege breakers, nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pull back, pull back, pull back. So we have all the bonus objectives now. That's good, at least. Can we beat this? It's worth a shot, right? Oh my gosh, I picked up the dead corpse. I didn't know I could do that. This isn't good. At all. Everything's gonna die. Let's go. This is plan B. Plan B is a very handsome plan. Full of strategy and cunning. This is called... Get here with the DTs. Then target the objective down. Wait, where can... Why can they see? Where can they see from? Okay. This is a safe spot. <laughs> It wasn't as clean, or as clever, or as pretty as I thought it would be, but we got it. We got all the, we got all the stuff, and we got progressive infantry weapons. Okay, <laughs> two weapon upgrades. We're no longer stuck on plus one infantry now that we are one mission away from all in. <laughs> that is phenomenally amazing. I'm so happy. All right, guys, tomorrow is going to be Welcome to the Jungle, where I am going to use some heavy ordnance to destroy the Taldorim, and then we'll move to random all-in. I don't know if it's going to be big boy all-in with the ground stuff. I guess big boy is more the Leviathan, huh? With So big boy with the air stuff, or if it's going to be sneaky boy with the Nidises. We will learn. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace!